author fan face off. I am the leaping librarian, Stacy Ratner, and Yay! my fabulous co host is the author, Steve Shankin. Woohoo! Hello. Um, and you know how this goes we have one author, one super super fan and one book and um we see who knows the book better today our guest is johnny marciano and it is claude two that we are doing um and we're so excited to have you i have had johnny at my school a couple of times we've had super fun author visits um and um yeah we love the claude series there are five books now five books yep so far and then, and steve is going to introduce your challenger yeah your challenger is max a big fan of the series and quite a renaissance man in his own right musician magician a gadget maker of spy gadgets an origami master a baker wow. what else and in his spare time, he, he'll read a book or two, including Claude. So I am going to start the questions today. I'll start with one for Max, then one for Johnny, and we'll take it from there. You guys feel ready? Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay, Max. What prize will students win for making the best robot in Miss Natasha's class? A chance to go into the Harvest Festival, Elvis Harvest Festival. Right demonstrate their robot at the big festival. Glad you got that question. Yeah, Johnny, <laughs> early in the story, Claude sets up this special school for cats. What is the school? Uh, school for feline warriors? There's one right word in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Max, do you know it? <laughs> yeah, uh, West Cousins Warrior Academy. God, that's right. That's a better answer, I, I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That's good. Oh, um, super fan, super, super fan. fan. All right, Max, we'll just uh, plow through these. How, who is Claude's enemy who is also exiled to Earth? General Fang. Okay, awesome. And Johnny, who is the most ferocious of Claude's students? The Calico Kitten. Oh, you got it, good. All right, another small detail for Max. Cameron's mom, Zoe Adams, is the creator of this popular comic. American Man. I didn't even finish the question, <laughs> but you're correct. Yeah, you knew, you knew where I was going with that. And this is one of my favorite little details for Johnny. Oh no. What is the Elba Middle School mascot? Ah, uh, the fighting bookworm. Fighting bookworm, yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, okay, Max, what is the one insult that Claude just cannot bear? Uh, being called an earth cat. Mm, yes, I'll tell you, I mean, reading these Claude books, I totally, I don't have cats and I didn't think I was a cat person. And not that <laughs> I don't I, have cats don't, either. No, and not that I would know if I would want Claude as a uh, as a pet, but um, I do want a cat. I did I did tell my family. Okay, Johnny, um, yes. sticking with Claude Claude questions. Okay. What does the loser of the duel of the branch have to do? Um. Uh oh. Uh, I think it's. Uh, what's the term? I think it's he has to uh, groom lick the other one. Is that right? Yeah. Good. Groom the head of the winner. Right. Yes. Okay. The winner. All right. Oh, my God. You make me nervous. Okay. You're, you're, hanging, <laughs> you're hanging in there. Hanging in there. Yeah. But you need Max to, uh, to trip up and open the door. I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, Max. This is an important scene. What did the Aquabot due to Principal Brownie Point during their assembly? Uh, he hit him with a jet of water. He got hit with a jet of water from the Aquabot. Yeah, many, many other details about that that you care to hear? <laughs> uh, he, he got hit in the crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have that detail, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of, he invented this wonderful robot and then, yeah, hit the principal in an unfortunate 
it did the successful job of delivering the water, but in an unfortunate <laughs> spot or not unfortunate, depending on I'm the student's point of view. Glad you picked that up, Steve. That's favorite very, detail of mine as well. I'm, yeah, we're very mature here at Author Fan <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> okay, Johnny. All right. You can buy a wormy apple. That's the name of a treat. A wormy apple at the Wormy Apple Harvest Festival. What is that special treat? Is it a candy apple with a gummy worm inside of it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it Max, is. did you know that one? Yeah. <laughs> what oh, do you think? You're good, Max. You're too good. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bonus question, so we can see if there's one more chance for you. All right. Finish this quote from Claude. Revenge is a dish best served. Dylan for me. As, any, either, do you know? As much as possible. Whoa. We'll take that as often as possible. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> right? Matt, is it right? Yeah, yeah, good. yes. I good. mean, how do you know these quotes? That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I like some of the quotes that Claude says. Yeah, it makes me Very. wonder. Johnny, is, is Claude based on anyone you know, um, cat or otherwise? Oh, Claude is based on every cat I've ever had. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, for sure. He's he's very yeah. I mean, if you've had a cat, I think you know that they're all evil alien warlords at heart. Right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Merciless. Do you have one now or, or several? Oh, yeah, we have two. Um, I'll tell you what. Can you just hold on one minute? Yeah. yeah I want to introduce. Let's see. Dude. I want to introduce the real. Hold on. This is truly, I think. Oh. Is really, oh. His name is Dino, but he's truly. <laughs> he, he really is flawed. <laughs> and, but he's actually not evil. He's actually quite. I mean, if you're a mouse, he is, he's actually quite evil. But he's a, he's a very nice young boy. Sweet guy. <laughs> I'll tell you, I wouldn't think that these Claude books would make me into a cat person, but I totally, I'm ready. <laughs> I thought it would do the opposite. I know. Right? Right, you'd be scared. Right. Well, well I'm looking he starts at, talking to me. Looking at my notes, I've got to declare, Johnny, um, that Max is the winner. Max. How do you feel, Max? Awesome. I tell you, Max, you know, when we're writing the new books, I always have to, like, Emily and I are, are, are always going back and checking the details to remember because we forget what happened in book one or book two, or book three. I'm just going to call you from now on. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, yeah no, I, I have the, I actually got the fourth and fifth book too. Oh, great. Mom got them for me. Oh. They're good. Oh, good. I'm glad. Especially the fourth one. Oh, good. Yeah, that's actually my favorite. Do you have a number in mind, a total number in mind, Johnny? Uh, six, six. So, oh. in, so in book five, um, Claude actually becomes the emperor yeah. of the universe. Yes, and, and in uh, well, it's but book six is you see what happens. Okay. Um, one don't tell me. Crown. I won't tell you. I won't tell you. But book six is a very exciting conclusion, I think, to the series. Thank you, Max. You're the best. Thanks. Thanks.